guys and welcome back to Kentucky Ants and today we're going to be cleaning my Finnegaster Reese's nest. So let's get into the video. So first, uh, we just uh, remove these little things right here uh, and then we'll just take them out like just like that. Sorry if you heard a truck pass by. Uh, you know, just remove these like that, and, uh, I would use my tweezers, but I don't know where I put them, I misplaced them, yeah, very irresponsible of me. Okay, now that we have access to the nest, we're not, we will, we will put this and, we'll get this and put it in here and just start scraping out the stuff, and, uh, yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, now the video is not ending yet. Uh, that would be boring if it ended already. And uh, yeah, that would just be boring. So yeah, uh, uh, step two to cleaning the said net. Oh, uh, I, I can't find this net. It just. One of my Campanotis Chromides nanotics just, nanotics just uh, came up to me. Uh, a nanotic escaped earlier and uh, just came up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that situated. Now that I got that done, uh, now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put this in some water and uh, clean the nest uh, with the water, yep. Uh, we just do that right there, and just put it in the nest, uh, and that's basically it, uh, but we will have to clean the outworld after we're done with this, so, yeah, don't leave yet, uh, yeah, that's, it's all in the nest, so let's get to the outworld. Now that we're in the outworld, let's get started cleaning it. First thing you wanna do is grab whatever you use to clean out your ant, ant farms and just get that. That's blue sugar, that's blue honey. Uh, and then just get it off this. Uh, there we go. And then you clean whatever this is. Okay, that's a piece of beef. Uh, I don't remember putting a piece of beef in there. All right, no, that's a piece of sausage. I do remember putting a piece of sausage in there. There's a dying Campanotis drone from my Campanotis colony. Uh, so this is a Pennsylvania drone, actually. Uh, I actually have a Pennsylvania colony, which has no queens, and a Chromides colony, which has and a Chromides colony, which has a queen. It's gonna. There we go. And you grab your tweezers, which I don't have none at the moment because I've misplaced them. And then you just. Okay, now that uh we have the uh. Break, uh, the outworld almost clean. You just gotta rub this through, and uh, yeah, that's basically all you gotta do to clean these types of nests. If you have no sand in them, of course, if you have sand in them, it's gonna be a nightmare, okay? Just just warning you, okay? That, that just happened, but uh, yeah, it looks it still looks very disgusting, but it looks better than it did. So let's put everything back. Well, everything is clean and the outworld is ready for use again. So hopefully the this will come out. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe and like, or else my Rudis colony will eat all of your ant colonies alive. Uh, yeah. Anyways, Kentucky Ants out.